Well, hello there again, guys. Yeah, I'm at a, I'm at a, an interesting park, I guess, here in uh, North Portland. We're not too far from uh, the airport, so yeah, there's some big planes coming in, coming into land from all over. Yeah, and lots of kids playing. Uh, it's a nice day out today, uh, a nice spring day. Uh, although we have had some some warm days, and uh, we have some warm days coming up, I think, as well. So summer is not too far away, although we still have spring. But I think summer's knocking at the door already. Yeah, we'll see about that. Uh, yeah, not looking forward to the to the heat, but uh, today is a, a nice day to enjoy uh, the nice spring weather and some good tobacco. Uh, yeah, so when I show you this tobacco, you'll probably understand why I'm here. Perhaps you will. I'll explain it anyways. Uh, uh, at this park, I thought this park would be a nice place to to show you guys this uh, new tobacco from uh, GLPs. Uh, it's from his, uh, well, he has a line uh, that he started uh, called the Zeitgeist line. And it's, I don't know, kind of an experimental line for him, I think. And uh, this tobacco came out, I don't know, a month or two ago or something like that. Not too long ago, and uh, I just wanted to show you guys uh, this tobacco a little bit. Just talk about it for a minute, just in case you're interested, uh, what it's like. Yeah, so it's a it's a Virginia Oriental blend uh, in a in a cut plug. Uh, yeah. So it's pressed and uh, pressed down into a, a plug, and and uh, it's Virginias and Orientals. Uh, let's see, I have a list of yeah, what's in there, just so I could get it right. Uh, it's uh, red Virginias, and they're aged. So uh, there's already a there's already a uh, an element of fermentation going on uh, even before the cake gets, even before the tobaccos are mixed and the cake is pressed. Um, and then uh, the Orientals, it, um, they, they say vintage too, so uh, I, I'm guessing age, they mean uh, Basma and Izmir leaf, so uh, two different Oriental uh, leaves uh, of tobacco uh, in here and uh, it's a really good uh, good mixture you can tell it's good quality uh, tobacco uh, the the one hard thing about uh, this tobacco I think the only downside I don't know why I'm mentioning the downside first but uh, yeah the hard thing about this tobacco Maybe two. It takes a few relights, uh, even if you you cut it and let it sit for for a little bit. Um, the leaves take a few relights. Um, I've noticed. But also, uh, when you're cutting it, when you're cutting the plug, uh, you need a really sharp knife because this, for some reason, uh, the leaves tend to kind of splinter out of the plug and it kind of turns in a little bit uh yeah like kind of like bark leaf bark or something like that so big chunks uh so it doesn't yeah it didn't it didn't cut real uh easily for me uh it was all right because you can you can still cut it up break it up crumble it up a little bit but the cutting of it was not as not as simple as other plugs uh, have been in my experience 
So those are the two minor things I found. I think about this this tobacco that uh, yeah, it was a little bit difficult, I think. Uh, but like I said, just minorly. Other than that, it's a very, uh, very aromatic tobacco. And I don't mean that in, in the traditional sense of aromatic tobaccos. I just mean it's very, it's very fragrant. Um, but not, not really flowery or anything like that. It's, and not even really incense. Uh, incense in the sense that we're used to in, in some oriental tobaccos, but it's, and it's not even really deep and earthy. It's, uh, there's just a certain fra fragrance of, yeah, almost, almost like spices. Uh, but it's not anything I could really put my finger on in it and say, well, it smells and tastes like that. Uh, it's just, it's just really, yeah, just a really fragrant uh, tobacco uh, in that sense. Yeah, that's that's as good as I can uh, narrow it down for, for you on the, the fragrant essence part of it. It's just real, uh, yeah, it is it is a typical oriental kind of a fragrance, but sometimes we can say, well, it's, you know, it's kind of like cedar or it's kind of like uh, incense or it's kind of like, a rose water or some kind of a some kind of a spice or cinnamon or something like that and uh yeah this one's kind of in the middle of all of that so there's there's nothing really i can that i could find to really describe the the uh, the way it the way it smokes and the way it smells well let me show you the tobacco now like i said it's a plug so there's the tin art. Geometry is the name. So now you may understand why I'm here at this park. Uh, think of it. So, yeah, typical, typical packing for GLPs. Let me let me get a whiff again real quick and see if I can narrow it down with the fragrance. Well, there is some there is some like dried fruit uh, kind of smell. Yeah, dried like dried plum perhaps on the smell, but that doesn't really come through in the smoke. It's just really sweet, very fragrant. Uh, you know. Yeah, so dried fruit. That's what I'm going to give it for the smell. And then, uh, yeah, so that's what, that's what the plug looks like. I tried to save a, most of a plug this time so you can see it. Yeah, hopefully that, that turns out so you can see it. Yeah, the light could be difficult. Yeah. Well, maybe I'll take it out. Yeah. See? Really nice looking. But it's real crumbly. Uh, flaky, I think, is the word. It, it chips off, flakes off, so... That's the uh, that's the parts that you have to look out for, I think, mostly. Uh, let me read to you what they say on the tin. Overlapping planes of vintage, sun-cured Bosma and Izmir leaf reframe the malty, natural sweetness of mature Red Virginias in this modern expression of the classical Virginia Oriental archetype aged in cakes to deepen and enrich the flavors, the structured plug cut tobacco is poised to engage and to engage and intrigue all the senses. Hard to read out here in the light. Yeah, so I think I think that's a good description. 
So he's GLP's. Uh, yeah, he's really trying something new with these uh, Zeitgeist blends. He's just experimenting with these uh, different cakes and stuff. I think uh, ways of pressing and and different leaves, different perhaps a little bit more uh, interesting leaves uh, together to bring out different nuances and uh, a little bit different than. Uh, the usual tobacco that we uh, are used to smoking out of a tin. So yeah, I think it's really good tobacco. Uh, like I said, uh, if you're yeah, if you're not paying attention to it, uh, yeah, you're going to have a lot of relights to it. But if you're smoke, if you're sitting and smoking and and tamping and and you have your smoking cadence down, I think it'll do all right. But uh, yeah, it, it, it tends to, tends to need some relights to keep it going. So, uh, that's just the way it is with some tobaccos, just the way, uh, leaves burn with, um, their humidity, their texture, their sugar content, uh, you know, all those things, uh, will affect the way it stays lit and, uh, and also the way the tobacco goes into the bowl. And the way it burns, if it's if it burns a lot uh, horizontally, then it um, tends to go tends to go out more. But uh, if you can get if you can get it really broken down and kind of twisted down in in there, so it burns uh, down into itself more, uh, it tends to do better. And that's it's a little bit more difficult to do with these uh, tobaccos, but it's all right. Mm. Yeah, it's all right because every relight brings brings good flavor, so it doesn't hit you hard at all. Uh, very smooth. Mm. Yeah, it's not hard in the mouth or anything like that. Very smooth smoke. Uh, really good flavor. Uh, I say it's just a medium in strength. Uh, I think I don't think it's too too strong, um, but it is an Oriental, so it does have some it does have some pretty good uh, spicy notes and and it can feel strong. Uh, I think uh, to people that aren't used to smoking uh, Orientals, but I think the the Red Virginia has knocked down the Orientals a little bit and complement it and. So this, there is some really good sweetness to it, um, but uh, yeah, just really tasty Orientals in this one. So if you if you really enjoy the Orientals, uh, yeah, this is a good one for you. I think it really, um, yeah, the Orientals really stand out in this one, uh, and the Virginias are just there to give the Oriental something to stand on, uh, give it the spotlight. Because the Orientals are really the spotlight, I think, uh, in this blend. So, yeah. So, yeah, I think that's all. Can't think of anything else. Yeah, I'm just going to finish my pipe and enjoy this day. Crap, a little bit of walk. Uh, I have not uh, had a chance to even take a breath for quite a few weeks. I've just been hit so hard uh, uh, with just being so busy um, at work and at home, everything. So I haven't I haven't even had a chance to breathe until this moment really and um, and I still have quite a bit of things to get done today so I don't have a lot of time <laughs> to uh, to meander about too much but uh, at least I had a chance to yeah, to come out and uh, talk to you guys about this new tobacco from GLP's uh, Geometry. So check it out if you like Orientals uh, and you don't mind a plug.
probably not a good uh, beginner tobacco, but uh, yeah, smokes well, um, uh, tastes great if you like the Orientals, not too spicy, uh, but very flavorful and uh, very Oriental forward. So GLP's Geometry here at, uh, at Louvet Park. Uh, yeah, it's an interesting park that they designed uh, with all kinds of geometrical figures. Uh, there's places for children to play here on uh, yeah, playground equipment that all has to do with geometry. So the whole park is uh, based on, yeah, on geometry, on different figures and uh, pieces of art like the one behind me. And uh, I think that fit well with uh, GLP's new uh, tobacco here, which is the part of the Zeitgeist uh, collection that has to do with uh, yeah, the modern art form, uh, the geometrical shapes and uh, and so he's kind of playing around with that. So I thought this was a, a good place to show you guys this tobacco. So anyways, guys, yeah, you guys take care and enjoy whatever tobacco you're enjoying. And perhaps you'll give this one uh, a shot and, uh, and then tell me what you think. Uh, it's always interesting to hear feedback from, from people that try these different tobaccos. Uh, that's what's fun about uh, new tobaccos coming out. And, uh, I think that's why we, we often sometimes even try to mix our own, make our own cakes, make our own uh, blends, because it's interesting to come up with something that's a little bit different. All right, guys, that's it. Yeah, take care, and we'll talk to you soon. Hopefully, talk to you soon.